you. The Moonshot is a plan to digitally connect every single individual, every business and every government in Africa by 2030. I'm delighted to be here with the Cabinet Secretary for ICT in Kenya, Joseph Msheru. Thank you so much for making time. Thank you, Julie. After the panel to talk to us. Great. So a few questions about the experience in Kenya. And as Minister of ICT, you oversee the country's investment in uh, digital technology. If every individual, every business was connected digitally, how would that transform the Kenyan economy? That, that, that would be paradise for me because obviously I'm a digital person. The, the whole process of offering services from government, it, it's usually complicated if you can't identify people, if you're not able to communicate to them, if you're not able to do many things. So if everyone is digitally connected, the planning becomes very easy, the actual provision of services becomes even easier and more efficient. It also becomes secure, you eliminate uh, corruption, you create a lot more transparency, openness, awareness, it will just transform the country. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually in process right now uh, with something called Huduma Number? That is correct. It's right. the National Integrated Identity Management System. Okay. This is a number you get from uh, birth to death and it's going to be connected to all services uh, in the country. It will be able, it will allow us as government to plan. We know how many kids are coming into schools, how, you know, how much infrastructure we need to provide. We'll know how many people have uh, driver's licenses, so many things things are going to become a lot easier. And uh, in just eliminating the corruption and creating the transparency, this is going to be fundamental. But it will involve every Kenyan becoming digital. So this, the next big question, in this new environment, how do you prepare people for the kind of workplaces that we will have, for the high-tech jobs and skills that they will need to really uh, function effectively in this environment? So a lot is changing in terms of work. In the past, you worked in, a, in an office at a desk and that's where you went morning uh, to evening and you went home. Mm -hmm. Then you had outsourcing where you actually from one country, you could be able to work for people in another country, but you were in a room. All of you being supervised and managed and so on. Now we've gone to a stage where it's called freelancing or the gig economy, where you can actually work from your rural home fresh air, get all the things that you need. And therefore, we have to work for all those spectrums of uh, the population. Right. Those that are going to be developers, developing new technologies, high tech, doctors, all the way to those that are just going to be working from their homes, answering questions, maybe feeding into AI systems, and they don't need to work for long hours. They work four hours a day, and then they spend the rest of their time doing other things. You call this the gig economy. Correct. Fantastic. Now let's come to um, Kenya's uh, development plan. And right now the big four is the focus of the Kenyan government. That is food security, affordable housing, universal health coverage, and um, manufacturing. manufacturing. Yes. How is the digital economy, or how can it play a role in actualizing the vision for the big four? So first of all, all those require people. So, it, so they're all about jobs. They're all about improving people's lives. You cannot work if you are hungry. You cannot work if you are unhealthy, if you don't have housing and so on and so forth. So they will create jobs for many Kenyans. Mm -hmm. But if you take, for instance, agriculture, we want to know where the farmers are, what the soil composition is, what the produce is that they have. And in fact, the manufacturers want to know how much uh, you know, have farmers produced so that they can plan and prepare. When right. you're talking of universal health care, you want that you can go anywhere in the country and you'll be given services. It's not just uh, in the different counties. And so identifying people becomes uh, very important for housing. Technology is being used to make sure the right people get the houses because there's more demand than uh, is going to be produced. And you have to be able to ensure not the same person gets the house or people who already have houses are the ones getting. So you can't do this without using technology to identify, go to the lottery system and you'll be able to see. And finally, in terms of manufacturing, we're not going to see a shortage of demand for devices. Mm -hmm. We're already importing over 50 million devices annually. And that number is going to grow with the IoT, the Internet of Things, which means we must then uh, get involved and engage in ensuring technology helps how you match the demand for devices and the supply and so on. So there are many things, but at the core, technology is a key enabler. It's going to be the key enabler. It Correct. is the key enabler. Uh, finally, what are the biggest challenges and opportunities in making this ambitious vision for this moonshot a reality? I think the, the, the biggest challenge is usually the politics. 
when people this are, is a very honest answer <laughs> <laughs> when people are unaware of uh, exactly what is being done it tends they tend to politicize okay. and sometimes uh, really good things can be politicized and then lost so in this case it's making sure people are fully aware they are carried along and they're informed we can't assume everyone understands what is being done okay. So when we look at, for instance, the Huduma number in Kenya, if we didn't carry everybody with us, the level of, um, I would say, pushback that would have got would have been so much more. So the biggest danger is lack of awareness, lack of inclusivity, so people understanding what the moonshot is about, what they can be able to do, how they participate, and what value they actually get. Wow. If that's not communicated, you will face uh, pushback. What's the biggest opportunity? Biggest opportunity is that everyone will be included. Everyone will be included, they will get services, they'll have a voice, they'll have a say, and they will benefit and they can transform their lives. Information is power. This will give them that information. They will be a digital citizen of the world, not just of uh, Africa. Thank you very much. Great. And with that, I'll share some African words of wisdom. The same sun that melts the wax hardens the clay. And that's why it's so important to be intentional in everything we do and to carry everyone with us. What do you think of the moonshot? Share your views online, hashtag Digital Africa. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.